We've got the need for speed. We're buzzing the tower, it's too close for missiles, we're switching to guns. These are the top 10 movie dogfights of all time. Kicking us off at number 10, we want to get something off our chest. Yes, to start off our list, we're going bold with probably the most well-known and well-loved cinematic dogfight ever, the one from Top Gun. Coming in, I'm coming in. Now that's not to say Top Gun isn't awesome because, well, just look at it. The cool banter and high-intensity maneuvers of the F-14s and MiG-28s were probably the things that got most dogfight fans started in the 80s. Even though the MiG-28s were actually fictional planes played by painted US F-5 Tigers. And if you need your fix on more Cold War era dogfights, we can give begrudging, not so honorable mention to those in Iron Eagle and Firebirds, aka Pervy Nick Cage and Top Gun with helicopters. But let's be honest, Top Gun is truly one of a kind. Next up for our number 9, we're gonna take it back. Way, way back. And back when airplanes were a thing people marveled at, not just complained about having to take off their shoes to board. People friggin' loved airplane films. And people like Howard Hughes loved making them. Probably his best dogfight was found in Hell's Angels, a brief moment of awesomeness surrounded by a sea of melodrama doldrums. But our pick goes to the film that first set the bar for aerial combat cinematography, and won the very first Academy Award, 1927's Wings, and its two-on-four Zeppelin run two-thirds of the way through. Shooting over nine months, Wings was a massive endeavor. Hundreds of pilots, thousands of extras, the film invented the techniques needed to film the in-air close-ups that so define fighter pilots pilot flicks today. And no, those techniques didn't involve a green screen, blue screen, or any color screen at all. Those are the actors in the planes, in the air, flying the damn things. Take that, Tom Cruise. Of course, we're not always film snobs. Sometimes we like some good old-fashioned blockbuster popcorn CGI fun. And that could be from Flyboys, a World War I flick that looks gorgeously stylized, if slightly historically inaccurate. Or Red Tails, a fun World War II movie that combines banter with excellent virtual cinematography. Oh, yeah! Or even Pearl Harbor's Battle of Britain, which, say what you want about Michael Bay, is pretty f***ing awesome. Yeah. But our pick goes to The Red Baron, a 2008 German film, and it's absolutely gripping nighttime air battle featuring Manfred von Richthofen himself. Sure, the film takes its liberties, but it snags our eye because while most aerial combat scenes take place during the day, the Red Baron uses darkness to its advantage and ends up with something beautiful and unique to show for it. Next up, we're looking at World War II's Pacific Front. Of course, there's a whole movie called Pearl Harbor that features a dogfight kind of based on the historical event, but it mostly amounts to Ben Affleck and Josh Hartnett defeating enemy pilots by looking handsome and playing chicken. Go left! And you can also check out Midway for the massive titular dogfight that just misses our list. But our number seven goes to the dogfight above the beautiful Technicolor Pearl Harbor battle from Tora Tora Tora. Far more historically accurate than Bay's Harbor, Tora is a historical epic that was shot in two separate pieces, half American and half Japanese. And one of the technical advisors on the film was Minoru Genda, the Japanese chief of staff who planned the actual attack on Pearl Harbor. Altogether, it made for a far more accurate, yet still cinematic and exciting dogfight with some of the most authentic footage ever shot. Of course, who says all our picks need to be historically accurate? They can just as well be from the future, or I guess in this case, a long, long time ago. Now, when it comes to sci-fi, the final battles from Independence Day and Stealth are both slick, and we really like the anachronistic time travel aerial battle between F-14s and Zeros from the final countdown, but there's nothing quite like the iconic battle between TIE Fighters and X-Wings from Star Wars A New Hope. Yahoo! Heavily inspired by famous dogfights of old, it's no secret that Lucas was an aerial cinema nut. He looked to Wings, 633 Squadron, and especially Dam Busters for inspiration. Next up at number 5, we always like to make an effort to keep it global. So, if we're looking worldwide, we can find some familiar dogfights with fresh perspectives. Riding on the enemy side, Der Stern von Afrika shows us a German perspective on World War II dogfighting that'll feel familiar to Hollywood fans. <laughs> And looking east to Russia, our favorite is Bomber, and it's early Bomber v. Fighter Battle. But for our pick, we really enjoy the kamikaze films that come out of Japan. Instead of the death-crazed suicide bombers depicted from the Western perspective, the act of kamikaze is depicted as complicated and nuanced in equal measure, but always somber. And you can look to the dogfights from Zero Fighter and for those we love for some awesome footage. 
but our number five pick goes to the final air battle before diving into a kamikaze attack from the Eternal Zero. More solemn and graceful, emotional and tragic than downright high octane, this dogfight carves beautifully through the clouds and into the sea, earning its spot on our list. But there's more to World War II than just the Pacific Front. We can't forget the war going on in Europe and the movies about it. We can't mention them all, but our favorites include dogfights from The Purple Plain, 12 O'Clock High, The War Lover, and especially The Battle of Britain, which staged one of the grandest battles of actual World War II planes ever seen outside of, well, you know, the war. However, our pick for number four goes to the very first dogfight between the titular plane and a squadron of German fighters from Memphis Bell. This is a totally different kind of dogfighting than the others on our list. Instead of nimble and agile one-man fighters performing sky-high acrobatics and aerial maneuvers, the Bell is a giant Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress bomber fending off attacks from all sides. What's really incredible here is the sense of teamwork between the crew of the Bell. You really feel the danger, which is why we love it for our list. Next up at number three, we're circling back around one last time to World War I, the granddaddy of the fighter plane. We've got a couple more films to talk about. First, Ace is High. The plot might be a bit generic and lame, but the flying certainly isn't. It's got classic gun battles and lots of them. Second, The Blue Max, a British film about German pilots trying to earn a Medal of Valor for shooting down 20 enemy aircraft. This one is an absolute classic. But for our pick, we're looking right after the war with The Great Waldo Pepper. Feeling ashamed of missing out on aerial combat during the Great War, Robert Redford is shooting a dogfight for a movie opposite a famous German ace when the two start actually duking it out. Of course, their movie planes don't have real machine guns, so they start ramming each other, playing chicken, and trying to run each other out of the air. Closing in at number two, we're going animated. Because while it's extremely difficult and dangerous and probably illegal to actually blow up airborne aircraft for the movies, it's a whole lot easier to draw it. Maycross Zero has a couple cool anime dogfights between laser shooting fighter jets. And we really wish we could pick Paths of Hate, an awesome little short film about a single dogfight that's beautiful and weird and as artful as you can get. but it's not a feature, so it can't make our list. But that's okay, because the 2D, 3D mashup that is the opening fight from Skycrawlers is equally gorgeous and worthwhile. Taking place in a parallel world with cool, diesel-punk planes where private corporations stage wars to ease the populace, this fight is awesome. Just as gripping and engaging as any live-action dogfight. And if you haven't gotten enough of Mamoru Oshii's take on the sky, stay tuned to the end for a giant final battle of epic proportion. And finally, ticking down to number one, we've seen the past, future, and every war in between. So can we get some modern aerial combat, please? Well, the bad news is that dogfight movies have fallen out of the public's favor. We're a long way from the golden age of the 50s and 60s. But the good news is that some filmmakers don't really care and have made some awesome flicks anyway. And while that could be 2010's Soar into the Sun that sees North and South Korean Air Forces face off, our top pick actually goes to the very first dogfight from Le Chevaliers du Ciel. In a movie filled with absolutely jaw-dropping aerial cinematography, this dogfight just takes the cake. It puts you right in the pilot seat, follows the action perfectly, and looks exactly like a modern dogfight should, which is why we think it's the best movie dogfight of all time. So, what do you think? Do you disagree with one of our picks? Did we leave out one of your favorite dogfights? Let us know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe for more Cinefix movie lists.